Okay, so we are going to talk about, you know, estimate how long would it take an algorithm to compute some quantity. Uh, so the question is, suppose you have a PC, a dual PC, dual core PC, 2.5 gigahertz that can compute two floating operation per core per clock cycle. And suppose you have an input size of n, you know, like suppose you have uh, n data points or you have a vector of n entries. And suppose that, you know, you have uh, algorithms that require 10 square, sorry, require n square floating operation to compute the quantity. So the question asked is, how long does it take to compute the quantity for n is 20,000? So, you know, first we have to uh, compute in one second, yeah? How many floating operation can the PC do? So in one second, the PC can do uh, 2.5 gigahertz is like 2.5 billion clock cycle. So this one is 2 gigahertz, yeah? And so this is the number of cycles and you multiply by the number of cores. So this one is dual core. And then you multiply by the number of flops can do per core per clock cycle. So, so this one is two flops per core per cycle. And then you will have, uh, you know, 2.5 times 4 is 10, 10 to the 9. So this one 10 to the 10 flops in one second, yeah? So, so this one is like the speed of the PC. And now, you know, so how long will it take the algorithm to compute the desired quantity? So you see, you know, the time will be equal to the number of flops divided by the number of flops per second. So the number of flops is 20,000 square divided by 10 to the 10, yeah? And so 20,000 square is like you take two square, 10 to the four square, 10 to the eight, yeah? And you divide it by 10 to the 10. So it will be 0 0.04 second okay so this is question a yeah? and question b is now you know you estimate the largest input size n for which the algorithm can compute the desired quantity in one minute okay so in one minute so in one minute then the computer can do uh, Uh, 10 to the 10 flops per second, yeah, multiplied by 60 seconds. So it will be like 6 times 10 to the 11 flops, yeah. And then you have the equation n square equals 6, 10 to the 11 flops. So n will be square root of this number and then you plug in the calculator and it should give you n is around 7,000 sorry 774,596 so you just take to the nearest integers okay so that's it